Very good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us today. I hope you're really having a good time at here at Binstek Business Conclave 2023. We would like to ask you, what is the significance of Binstek Conclave 2023 for promoting regional economic cooperation and trade among Binstek countries? Well, thank you very much for inviting. It's a pleasure to be at Kolkata. So we're experiencing a very warm hospitality from the Indian Chamber of Commerce. It's a timely move by the Indian Chamber of Commerce. During the last two years, because of the prevailing COVID pandemic, we didn't, have to, uh, we didn't have the chance to go for physical meetings, just more or less or virtual meetings. So we had a virtual meeting covering this subject in 2022. Now we have come here to Kolkata, India, to meet uh, the regional countries and the representatives physically. Given the backdrop of the strengths we have in this region, and we are having harboring 22% of the population, and the global trade is a significant chunk is happening in this part of the world. It's more important that we meet personally and uh, talk to our counterparts and the stakeholders about the futuristic development covering different subjects. So important is the people-to-people -people connectivity, which we are doing now. And also trade, uh, industrial development, health, education, and also cultural relationships. They are dated back to a long time and also we are further strengthening those ties and the links with the regional countries. So I think uh, this opportunity uh, would favour uh, very positively uh, for all our trade and industry related issues, uh, specifically considering the fact that Southeast Asia and also the Asian region is fast developing. So average economic growth is about 5% uh, GDP wise, which is something significant in relation to most of the other countries. So uh, the people, the, those people who live in this region should directly benefit from the economic outcome of those countries. So we, I think uh, by working together with the regional countries, we have a lot of openings. So it's important that we go ahead and further strengthen these developments and the ties on future basis to, to ensure that uh, the countries and the people of our countries have a better lifestyle. Yes, sir. Thank you. So do you think that uh, there's a need for continuous dialogue and coordination between the countries throughout this year and BIMSTEC should become an ongoing program rather than an annual event? Of course, yes, we think um, like uh, what I mentioned, so uh, the world uh, had gone through something unprecedented during the last two to three years time because of uh, COVID situation. Having started this uh, institution in 1997, it's nearly 25 years now. But during the latter part of this 25 years only, the, the regional development took a, a, new, uh, you know, a new, new phase. It came to a new phase, new speed during the last decade or so. Uh, of which of which the benefit uh, the, the the people of our countries see now so we have spent a lot of money for the infrastructure development uh, the region there had a lot of development in most of these countries so it's time that we talk about more inter uh, trading amongst the countries and also intra trading for which we need to have more you know close approach amongst the countries so because of that, I think the, this timely move by the Indian Chamber of Commerce and also on futuristic basis, I think we should have more frequent meetings to ensure what we, dis, what we discuss today and what we are discussing today would, take the, uh, would, would be taken to the next stage. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for sharing your insight with us. And I hope you are enjoying Kolkata. Thank you very much. Thank you.